Hi guys, Andy here and welcome back to another episode of Goodness Grecians Me. Um, I'm going to have to give you a bit of a catch up session really because I've already done a season in the Prem but the file uh, that I, I recorded was fucked. It was like dropping out sound, it was just completely corrupted so uh, I'm going to give you a catch up session now. It wasn't an amazing season. I came 10th, I started off the season really well and it just kept dropping and dropping away. I played... I didn't play that formation. I went back to that formation. I played a a formation. That's my new formation. Sorry, I played this formation the whole season and gave it a go. If you saw my Andrew Geordie game, then you'd have seen the idea. That's the formation I played for most like ninety nine percent of the season, and uh, yeah, it went okay. Started off well, but then it really dropped off. I think I played another formation early in the season, but anyway, um, that's the new one. That's where we're at, really. Uh, I, there's nothing really to report other than signings. I got some really good signings, and this lad looks phenomenal. Other than work rate, he looks like a top uh, centre mid slash defensive midfielder. I got a decent left back in with some pace, technique. Uh, again, all fairly good value for money. I bought him a few freebies to hopefully do a job. He's a bit older, but a good player. Um. Forward, I, I had to get rid of um, Chi Adams. He just like kept getting uh, assistant manager reports that his bad his bad attitude was uh, affecting our performances. I was like, oh, fuck this. So I just got rid of him and brought this guy in on the cheap. Uh, nothing amazing, but it was really all it was about. Got this guy on the cheap, Chowdhury from Leicester. Not a bad player. Lacks a bit of determination, but again, at the time, I was kind of uh, really desperate. For players, who are you? Oh yeah, really good young French defender. I'll play him right back. He started off really poorly for me, but he's grown into it. Marisic, defender slash midfielder. Probably more midfielder with um, bravery of 12, aggression of 10. But we'll see what defenders I can get in. Depends where he's going to play. O'Connell was a desperation. It was getting towards the beginning of the season. I couldn't find too many players. I overpaid for this guy. He's done absolutely terrible. But I think he will do better in my new formation, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed that's not a waste of money. This guy was terrible. He, he really was poor for me. But I'm hoping he improves this season. Jack, Joel Coleman actually had a really good season. I can't remember why he feels victimised. I don't know if I find him or something. Yeah, look, two fives. He probably got um, discipline for poor performances. I didn't like it at all. And this guy was terrible. So, yeah, an ounce. Just loads. I think I cleared the decks quite a lot. And I ended up... I got some money at the moment. And I, I think I'll have to clear the decks again. Because I'm, I'm still not happy at all with a lot of uh, a lot of my players. He wants a contract, mate. You're lucky still at the club. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. Yeah, I definitely feel like um gonna have to yeah, gonna have to get shot of a lot of these. We'll see though. We'll see. I'm gonna go for, so yeah. Sorry. So that's the end of our fourth season, that's how it's been. Uh, other than that one session that I played in the championship where I yeah, got stitched up. It's been pretty as expected. I I'd, I'd hope to have done better this season, but I mean my squad is so poor. Really is terrible, so um, I'm gonna do well to get top four this year. I normally, by now, I'd, I'd like to be challenging for the title, but I just can't see it. I just can't see it happening. It's crazy, but we'll see. I'll see what I can get in. You never know. Do I have try future? I think I got Gibson. Is it Ben Gibson on the way? Not a bad defender. I got him really cheap because he was transfer listed, like 1.7 million. Considering Chelsea bought him early for nearly 14 and then sold him to Palace. Uh, so we'll see. I don't know if he'll be much good. I sold Abu Adams, gone. Harris, Dunk, I just let go on a free because it, no, just let him go in it. And Coots is fine again. Okay. I'll show you the Chi Adams deal. I didn't get nowhere near as much as I wanted for him. In fact, I've actually I paid 4.7 and sold them for 3.8. I've got 25% added on, so I will get my money back. But yeah, he was just pissing me off, and it's not like he was banging in a goal a game, so fuck him. 
Um, yeah, a lot of outs last year. I was pretty much just trying to keep the wage bill down because I was losing so much money all the time. Um, yeah, so that's, how, that's where we're at. All right, guys. So um, what I'll do is I'm going to crack on. Uh, at the end of the transfer window, uh, end of August, I'll give you an update on who I've bought in the stuff and who I've sold. And uh, yeah, I'll speak soon. Hi guys, yeah, just wanted to give you a quick heads up that um, about the first season stadium increase went up to like just under 20,000 and um, I was worried, I thought, well, the stadium's increased to 20,000. I don't know if I've mentioned this before or whether it was in the corrupt file, but the attendances, sometimes you get your stadium increase when you get to the Premier, you're still only getting like 8,000, even though there's a 20,000 seat stadium. I was really, really pleased to see that... Um, where is it? Uh, average attendance. I was nearly filling out the stadium every game, so yeah, just thought I wanted to throw that in there just in case you guys were wondering about the bump. And uh, yeah, delighted with that because it means, yeah, I'm not wasting, yeah, I'm getting the full amount of money I potentially could be for the stadium size. But yeah, alright, cheers guys. Hi guys. Okay, so end of uh, August window, we got. Obviously, the ones that are already t on their way were Ben Gibson was already pre-arranged. He hasn't started yet because he's new. I don't like starting new players straight away unless I absolutely have to. Chamberlain, I got the Ox in, in one of the central attacking midfield roles. He's at to start because I didn't have anyone for that role. His backup is Callum McGregor. I got on a free. Had to balance uh, pace off the ball, work rate, technique. He had some stats that were acceptable when he was free. It was either that or get someone just slightly better who still wasn't world class uh, in for like 5 million. I thought, oh, fuck it, I'll just take the free transfer. Uh, this lad's really improved at Leeds. He had a 5 million release clause, a young English defender. He's got the pace, the height, the work rate determination. He's got loads of really nice stats. His marking could be, oh, it's, it's gone up to be fair. He can be better, but he's for 5 million. I thought, wow, what a fine. So. Him and Gibson will form a partnership, but uh, the other lads have got to play shit first. I finally got this Romanian on for fuck all money. Um, as you can see in this history, the height of play, he's a creative midfielder. Even though he doesn't have high creativity, he's passing, dribbling technique. He's got really nice stats, and for 600,000, he wanted stupid money. He wanted like 32 grand. I got it down to 22. He cost fuck all, and I like it. So, and he's young. And the other one, I just got in. No, no fucker wanted to come to me, right? Absolutely nobody wanted to sign for me. I've literally only just managed to get this guy, and he wasn't interested. But I got him in for 10.5 because Bromby got knocked out of Europe early in the first qualifying rounds. And then he needed a forward who had the pace, a bit of off the ball, technique, work rate, balance, determination, dribbling. He's got loads of lovely stats, long shots, flair. And uh, he's only 24, and I thought, you know, I'm going to get him in now. Uh, why I can because my squad still is nowhere near good enough. I played two games, home to QPR. I got robbed. Um, really shaky start. Yeah, was not happy. But I thought, you know what? Don't worry too much because you played really well. Uh, and then I had Man City, which is always going to be difficult. They scored relatively early, so I went at them, and they hardly had any more shots than I had all of these after. So um, we improved in that game, and again, would like to have nicked a draw out of that, but. What are you gonna do? I was surprised they had Suso leading the line though. But there you go. Okay, so that's yet all we've had so far. Um so slowly but surely getting a squad together I think they can compete, but at the moment it's still looking pretty bleak. because uh, we just can't score goals. Uh a Somber Lomba, I haven't used it. I've used the other guy because it's two footed. I just don't a Somber Lomba hasn't been prolific, but I love lots of apart from like off the ball and finishing which uh, is really important for a striker, I know, but determined, brave, balanced, aggression. He's got some pace without being electric. He can go up. He needs to improve his fitness, but technique, work rate, he's got a bit of height. He's just got a really good all-round game, and I, I think I can improve him if I keep showing a bit of faith in him. So, And again, he's not one-footed, which I hate about Briss on Balomba. But again, no fucker wants to join me. I cannot get a striker with some basic stats that's like two-footed. This guy, one-footed, they wouldn't accept like 8 mil and he's not even being used really. I was like, oh, fuck off then. Because I was going to take a chance on him. This guy, he would cost an absolute arm and a leg. Uh, he's got no work rate and he's 
hitting towards that old age, but good player, but again, wasn't really worth the risk. And this is strikers, by the way. Um, no fucker, honestly. There's no, there's no quality left, and none that want to come to me, should I say. So, yeah, we're going to struggle through. I was hoping this season I'd put in a challenge, but I'll be honest, that's looking fucking very unlikely. Um, formation, I'll, I'll give you a shout as to what the coup is. Um, yeah, it's basically... I play this way because it has it does actually normally have lots of goals in it, but you have to have players. Like Gould, I, I rate, but he plays much better when you sit him there because he's off the ball and movement is crap. But when he gets the ball, his pace, balance and dribbling are really good. So he can create from deep, but when you're asking him to get forward, um, he's not as effective and he doesn't have the work rate to play central because otherwise I'd be putting him in there, I guess. Um, so that's a shame. But that's where that new forward's going to come in on the right. Lazaro should be... I'm hoping he kicks on this season because he's got loads of nice stats. Um, eventually I'll have Gibson in there if he can get his stamina up and pace up. And Nelson for... Um, uh, Smith Brown. So and Coleman's actually started okay. So even though he's got the, um, I'm hoping he'll kick on. Uh, but we'll see. It's still not great. I got, I've still got um, 26 mil in the bank. I had my academy uh, upgraded, so I've got top facilities. It can still go up one more level apparently. Uh, ball confidence. Yeah, I can still do youth development still. So I'll do that at, towards the end of the season. I had two kids promoted to, to the reserves. This guy with a winger with no technique, but do you know what I mean? I've, I've seen worse, but yeah, he's not going to make it. But it's a squad filler, and the other one was a really poor player. Gibson, that was it. Determination of five, no balance, no height. He's 18. Uh, I don't even know whether I haven't even decided whether to give him a contract yet. He's pretty poor, but we'll see. So that's where we're at. Really shit start to the season. I haven't scored one goal and lost one nil in both games, so. Not really filling me full of confidence right now. I'm really, yeah, but we'll see. Patience be a virtue and all that. All right, guys. Well, I'll speak to you. Uh, I suppose it'll be after the January transfer window. All right, bye. Hi, right, guys. So, um, I'm done for the day. I'm just a bit tired and fed up with it all. Really, um, struggling a little bit to find a way to get these lads playing. I mean, sixth in the league isn't too bad, but. It's not great. It's not great. We're losing. Conceding goals. Ben Gibson's been a piece of shit. Uh, defensively, we haven't been that bad. It's just trying to get the best out of what we've got. Uh, I, pl I tried playing this just to keep it more solid and break. Um, but that didn't work. Just, yeah, just fucking coming up. I mean, Doug wrong. Matt Cash. <coughs> Matty Cash is developed into a really good player. But I don't give a fuck, to be honest. Um, yeah, uh, just really getting frustrated, so I'm going to save here for today and leave it for, for a, a bit and come back and have another look um, of what to do, really. I just, uh, yeah, it's not possible for me to create the formation of the way of playing I want to play on here, <coughs> unfortunately. Um, so... I'm going to have to just come up with something else, I think. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm done. All right. Speak to you soon. Bye.